everyone. Today I'm unveiling two sets of wheels for my F80 BMW M3. Yep, they grip well. Here's a quick reminder. When I first purchased my car, it came with 20 inch 666 wheels and I absolutely love them. Then I decided they were too harsh and I swore against 20 inch wheels. So I went with 19 inch 437 wheels in black. Then in between, I always ran my 513M wheels during the winter and sometimes at the track. And here we are today when I'm unveiling two new sets of wheels, a set of 18 inch Apex wheels that I got strictly for the track. These uh, wheels are wrapped in Neato NT01 tires. And here I've got my set of daily, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying it because it's 20 inch wheels. But yeah, 20 inch uh, sized nine and a half in the front, 10 and a half in the back, made by Richland Forge. Richland Forge is a pretty new company that makes forged wheels. And I'm gonna show you in detail uh, what they are. And uh, they are OEM wheels, but upsized a little bit. These are called the GT4 wheels made by BMW in size 18, I believe. So what this company did was they just upsized it to 20 inch and provided it to the consumer. I'm gonna link their website down in the description. Now, let me give you a quick close up of the wheels and we're gonna probably mount all of them? Well, not all of them. We're gonna mount the four wheels. Which ones? I'm not sure yet. You're gonna find out. For the track use, I got these Nito or Nitto NT01 tires, 275, 35, 18 in all four corners. Why? Because I wanna be able to rotate them as I race at the track. If you have a set of dedicated track wheels and tires, I highly suggest you use this aluminum tape to tape up your wheel weight because what happens a lot is at the end of your session when you stop, the heat from your brake melts the glue from the weights and they simply just fall off. And here we've got my Richland forged wheels, nine and a half inches wide in the front and 10 and a half inches wide in the back wrapped in Michelin Pilot 4S. Now, the back size on the 10 and a half inch wheel, I went with 295, 30, 20. That's right, 295, 30, 20. In the front, I went with 275, 30, 20. The Richland wheels actually arrived a couple of weeks ago and what I did to prep for this step is I ceramic coated them using four layers of ceramic coated. That's right, these wheels have four layers of ceramic coating on them. I am hoping that they at least allow me to wash them uh, fairly, fairly easily. Although for washing, I have a, a new tool that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. If you are not familiar with what a forged wheel is, essentially it's a wheel that's made out of one piece aluminum. They just carve it out of one piece. That's what makes them stronger and uh, that's what makes them a little, bit, a little bit more expensive. And here, this is the difference between 275 and 295. So currently, if you have your 19 inch OEM wheels, in the back, you have 275 inch wheels. This is what it is. I went with 295 in the back. So look, I'm moving my hand here. So they are about an inch wider than 275. And going from 295 to 305 is pretty much this much of a difference, and it's a lot more weight, which is the reason why I went with 295 versus 305. But just look at it. Look at, look how, look how vast the difference is. And here we can compare the thread pattern between our 275 street wheel versus 275 really track oriented wheels. So if you run these wheels at the track, yes, they will provide you a lot of grip, but eventually these edges will start dulling out and you start rolling, rolling the tire. In this case, you have very, very few edges and the, the few edges that you have are sort of cut at an angle. So even if you roll them, they're not, the tire will not completely roll. It just gradually, gradually um, start wearing out. The Richland wheels came with BMW center caps, but today I decided to step it up. So what I got is, uh, I got these spinners, essentially. <laughs> Look at this. These are OEM center caps that always stay upright. Sort of, I think Rolls-Royce was the one that pioneered the center cap design first. Essentially, there's a weight at the bottom, see? And they just float to the top. These are called BMW floating center caps. I'm gonna link them down in the description of this video. To install them, you take them apart and it's as simple as popping them inside see <laughs> and they spin if you are curious this is what they look like in the back so they mount on the wheel you have this little weight and this little weight yes it spins sometimes but for the most part it'll always stay in the on the top <laughs> pretty clever 
and look, see? It always stays, always stays upright. It's perfect to those of you who take a lot of car photos and always are bothered by the logo being upside down. These are a must have. Speaking of must have, when I first got these wheels, I purchased these Amazon valve stem caps. Yeah, I know, I know, it's, uh, it's a very uh, small detail, but then I decided to compare them to OEM. So I purchased this set of OEM center caps, and uh, the reason why I purchased them is twofold. One, to compare and contrast, and two, I like the, <laughs> I like the design of the OEM ones. First thing you notice right away is how different the weight is. Here, let me show you the difference. So, these are, in my left hand, are Amazon ones. Again, very, very good quality. Uh, they are round here. The ones in my right hand are OEM, and these are sort of angular, which in my mind, the design of a valve stem cap, yes, I know, I know, fits better with the design of my wheel. And second, I've gotta say, the difference in weight is really, really noticeable. This, the OEM one, is a lot lighter than the aftermarket one. So if you're going for weight saving, OEM is the way to go. And now, since I'm gonna be making another track prep video, I'm gonna mount these tires in the next week or two. So today, we're only gonna be mounting the 20 inches. Before we proceed any further, there's a couple of things I wanted to mention to you. First, these wheels were offset specifically to fit the F80 in a very aggressive, aggressive way. When you buy these on the website, you can purchase them where they sort of sit flush a little bit or where they poke out. I decided to go with the most aggressive version, one that does not require spacers. So the fitment you're about to see is completely spacerless, which brings me to the next point. Since I am running with no spacers, I am gonna have to go back to my OEM lug nuts which is uh, pretty cool. Yes, I am waiting to do my uh, wheel lock conversion. I bought a set from Keys Motorsports. I'm gonna do those very soon. I was waiting because I wanted to see how these wheels fit and to see if I can get away with a certain length of, uh, of my lugs. But until I do that, I'm gonna use my OEM uh, lugs and, or studs, whatever they're called, and I also am going to use this OEM wheel locking kit. So I'm also gonna link it in the description, these, are made specifically by BMW for BMW, and they mimic the length of the OEM ones. So I park my car in public spaces a lot. I might as well use it. And then I was thinking about it. Yes, I ceramic coated this, these wheels, which will allow me to wash them a little better, a little easier, if you will, but I'm still gonna have to wash them nevertheless. The power washer can only get to certain places uh, and I'll still have to scrub them. I have a new tool, and that tool is this. This wheel scrubber, check this out, allows me to easily, look, I'm gonna flip it. Look, so this is the inside. If I go from the outside, it allows me to easily clean the wheel here, 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 here. So this tool is a no-brainer if you have silly silver wheels like I do. And at the same time, I also bought this brush because with this, I won't be able to get into these corners here, but with this brush, I'll be able to, see? You just brush the corners, brush the corners when you are washing your wheels. And this will allow me to keep the wheels cleaner, or at least allow me to maybe wash them a little faster. Anyways, I think we should start installing them. And here I want to show off something. I actually started making a video on how to clean the rotor hubs, but it's really, really straightforward. I'm gonna show a quick glimpse of how I did it. Today I'm gonna to show you how to transform your rotors from this to that. But essentially you buy these cool tools online and use a drill, it takes a couple of minutes. You could paint them uh, flat black, but I decided against it because I kind of like the silver look.
One more time, I have to show off my beautiful work here. Look at this, look how clean they are. I highly, highly recommend this and it's super, super easy to do. And here I'd be remiss if I didn't show you the difference between OEM 255 inch wide winter tire that I had in the back versus 295 20 inch wheel or tire that I have. Yes, the 255 was slightly undersized for the car, but it's absolutely fine. And the 20 incher is just so much wider. Look at it. There's gonna be so much grip, especially on a hot day like that. Let's do this again. No spacers. Oh. I do have NTCs on the hubs from when I had the spacers on, so that'll make sure that these wheels don't stick to the hubs that much. So here we go. This is what the wheels look like before the car is dropped. I think we owe it to ourselves and do it in slow motion. Holy moly, this is it. This is what my new 20 inch wheels look like on my car. As you can see, the center caps are pointing up as designed. Look at this fitment. I was guaranteed there will be no rubbing with this offset and this size of a, of a tire. And I will find out when I go for the test drive. But look at it, I love the concavity of these wheels and the offset is just perfect, absolutely perfect. These wheels will allow me to dial in my drop. I think I might go slightly lower in the front, but just look at it. Oh, this is just too pretty. Too, too damn pretty. Look at this, ah, oh, perfect. Look at this, look at this perfect offset. If there was a definition of a perfect offset, this is it. This is the perfect offset on an F80 M3. When I bought these wheels, I knew it was important for me to invest in a torque wrench and I got this one. Look how long this is. It's uh, made by Tecton. I got it on Amazon and it's really, really cheap and it should be good to get the job done. I'm gonna use it both for daily use and at the track. And look how easy it is to use. So, what do you think? These are my new wheels for my F80 BMW M3. I've been sitting on these for quite a while and the spring is finally here and I figured it's time for me to install them. Now, let's <laughs> take a look. See, you see my brake hubs? This is why I cleaned them because this used to be oxidized and it completely clashed with this beautiful fit and finish of these wheels. So, I decided to clean them and they look really, really cool. Speaking of cleaning, as you can see, since I don't have ceramic brakes, my brakes are slightly smaller, I'll be able to clean inside the barrel fairly, fairly easily, especially with the tool that I showed you. So that's really, really awesome. Let's look at the fitment. As you can see, one more time, the offset is absolutely perfect. And what's also perfect, I know I keep talking about it all the time, but you see my custom made mud flaps? these mud flaps will save that quarter panel in the back because with uh, wide, wide wheels like that, all the debris and stones will be hitting that side of the car. So my mud flaps are helping me keep my paint really, really fresh. So let's continue going this way. Oh, look at the back. Look how mean the offset is in the back. I don't think we could fit a finger in there. Oh, maybe we could, I guess. 
But again, really, really cool. Now, a lot of people run tires that are stretched towards the inside. I personally am not a fan of that. I like tires that are sort of, that go up instead of going in uh, at a stretch. Nothing against it, I personally don't like it because that look in my mind makes the tires look smaller. I like the look of a meaty tire. And speaking of meaty tire, this is a, a good amount of meat, wouldn't you say? And let's look at it one more time from this angle. Again, the depth of these wheels need to be seen because, oh, they look awesome. I'm not just saying it because I just got these, but look at it. They're such beautiful wheels, such beautiful wheels. And I know they're forged, so they'll be able to handle all the potholes that we have in the area, but just look at it. What we have to do now is we got to test the grip. And that means first, all right. The grip is there. We just blessed the tires with a bit of a, a wheel spin and uh, it felt grippy, I guess. You do notice compared to the winter wheels that I had that these respond a lot quicker. I guess the sidewall not only is it uh, harder, but it's also smaller. So the steering inputs are a lot sharper. The last blessing of the tire. I don't want to spend it before I even get a chance to enjoy them. Yep, they grip well. They do allow some play, which is nice, but they grip. There's a tunnel coming up. And we're done. This has been a long, long time in the making and it's finally here. Well, actually the spring is finally here so I was able to install them. But I've been dreaming about this color scheme for a while. I think I got tired of black wheels, of dark wheels, so it was time for me to brighten it up and I think this color looks awesome. Now what's gonna look awesome if I go with uh, satin expel oh wait oops maybe i don't know anyways let me know what you think of this setup by commenting below uh, if you like this video maybe give me a thumbs up subscribe and uh let me know which wheels you would have chosen are you glad i went with uh, these versus yellow i was this close to getting a set of gold wheels uh, but i didn't my super friends would probably like me but at the end of the day, I think I'm very happy with the silver for now, maybe this season. Let's see what brings us uh, next season, if I still have the car next season. But anyways, until then, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.